Maduro, no, 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 don't touch a sequibo, Terry G says so, boom fire. Good morning, guys. A good, great morning to all of those who tuned into the realest thing. You know, um, not only the fact that I'm the realest thing in the world makes me proud to say it. I'm proud to say it because I have been brought forth to this world out of a country, a small country, on the northern coast of South America called Guyana. That for the most part for years was irrelevant and now has become the center of attention around the world. That I must say I'm proud of. I'm also proud of the people of this country because I continue to see them transform it's not always for the good but much transformation is being seen as we go forward. We are going forward. Now, I continue to ask myself if the government of the day and the president are real. Continually I ask myself that. Because if you go back, you would see if you go back in history, you would realize that in all the mismanagement and poor decision-making that was made in the Burnham era, there were still people who thought Burnham was a great leader. Funny enough, it can be researched and said that Burnham was a leader that was not of his era. He was out of that era. But if I were to come and say, I am going to do this and I'm going to do that and I had a set of fancy talk and I fuck everything up, would you say, oh, critic is still great? I don't understand the logic in it. The logic in idolizing Burnham, who tried to make Guyana the breadbasket of the Caribbean, who tried to make us self-sufficient at a time where America and the rest of the world did not share his vision. So as much as you're ideas are great implementation of those ideas play an integral role nobody says only the pnc you can meet and say well we fucked up but there's no buts after a fuck up there's the problem in this country only the pnc or their affiliates afc would say, we fucked up, but you can't say we didn't try, or we failed, but failure is failure. The thing is, they don't accept. We failed, but now we will try to make it right because we have the experience of failure in this area. They said, no, 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 no. We just didn't have enough time. That's why we failed. If you give us more time, we're going to win. That's the problem. Nobody else, only politicians are afforded the opportunity to come and say, Oh, we failed, but we didn't have enough time. Or that guy. I, as a businessman and an entrepreneur, can't say why oh, I'm building this thing and rain fall. It's not me. Blame it on rain. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when I see nothing, then I say, it's not going through me yet. Blame it on rain. Yeah, yeah. Like in a Ray Charles thing, right? 
Oh, Blade of the Rain. I kid you not. <laughs> when I see um, Norton, I see Ray Charles singing Blame It on the Rain. Blame it on the rain, yeah, yeah. Oh, let's blame it on the rain. Huh. And the rain don't care. I can't make up it. <laughs> when you see not at the press conference, what are you seeing? Huh? Is there any got his shades? <laughs> yeah. So I ask myself, is President Ali and this government for real? How do we know that the serious and I try to play it out in my head, how I know what's going on? Timothy Gonzalez, um, a good great morning to you. And you said you're looking from the Mazaruni prisons. Um, what would have you done? To be in prison, I'm, I'm, I'm wishing you all the best, my brother, for the new year. I hope you come out this year. Um, let me hope to God you got 25 to life. And Mazaruni prisoners are people who are serving long sentences, lengthy sentences. So I don't know what caused you to get yourself in there, but what you got to do is man up and know. We need to face, if you're going to be successful in life, whatever that means in your life, you got to face the consequences of your actions. So enjoy, I must say, enjoy your prison time. Don't tell me you're innocent. All you are fucking innocent. You understand? Because everybody in jail, never innocent, and everybody outside, never guilty. All right? So enjoy um, your prison time. Make the best use of it. If you're in prison for four years, follow up a degree. You could follow a goal. You could go and 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 um, apply for a gold scholarship. You know, if you're in jail for six years, as a result of making yourself a fucking ass in the road, you could come on back as an engineer. If you're in jail for 10 years, you might be able to come on back as a doctor. I think it's about seven years to get a PhD. Do something meaningful with your life. You understand? Don't do the same thing you're doing on the road in jail. You've been given time. Look at it as given time, not time being taken away from you. Learn new skills. Equip yourself. Learn a hundred new skills. That when you come out, you could say, well, I'm a carpenter, a mason, a this, a that, a mechanic. You understand? Learn new skills. Do things. They ain't teaching you nothing there. Get books. If you make the time and the effort, for yourself, people will make it for you. Even in prison, you could become life and the successes in life. And the overcoming and tri of trials and tribulation is mental. If you were to ask for a book in prison, and you were to read one, I could tell you, you could get a hundred. That's a strange thing in the world when somebody says i need a book i'd like to read can i get the papers every day obviously the prison office has the can i can can you get the paper for me so all i'm asking for sir i can tell you i'll be a i'll be a good model prisoner can i get the papers when you finish reading them learn something every day Right? So you guys could call in on 6227740 and give me your take. What's the issue? What concern you? Two little school kids kissing. This one sent me a video. Oh, Jesus Christ. A girl and a boy kissing in the video. It.
Sian sent me a video here with a girl and a bike kissing. Well, buddy, I ain't gonna frown upon her. I am not gonna frown on that. They're a little too young for that. We can't call them in and talk them to hold them for a couple of years. But I ain't gonna frown upon a boy and a girl kissing. With the kind of buggery what America trying to promote, I see a young boy and a girl kissing. I kid you not. We've all been there and had that day. Now we see it and we frown upon it. You understand? We all had that day. I ain't going to frown upon it. I am thankful they might have the information a little too early. They might be going a little too fast. But I'm thankful that it's not too little boys buggering. Hello. Hi, good morning, sir. How can I be of help to you? Good morning, critic. I'm a listener to your program, and can you just indulge me here for a minute? I appreciate what you're saying, what the president is doing. And you mentioned it this morning that... I never said the president back. doing nothing. I said, I want to know if they're real. I'm dissecting to try to figure yes. out if they're real. Yes, mm. yes. That's, that's very great. But I want to take my memory back during the days of Burnham. I, I don't know if you grow through the days of Burnham. I, you know, I'm 44 years of age, and I get the so back end of Burnham. I get height. When okay, so GPL was fairy like potholes on Main Street, yes. you had to climb in and climb out. Yes. Yeah. So I grew up in Burbies, and I grew up through the tough days of Burnham. And I would like to address most of my fellow Guyanese with one thing, and I leave you with one thing. During those days, I went to school, 80% of the, 80%, 60% of the students were malnutrition. We had, I don't know if you remember the word, white mouth. And berry, and berry. Be yes. Nice, wrong belly, what people know, there's a lot of fat. Yes. Every latrine in Berbice is a cemetery for um, sardines. We had to, my mom had to use one can of sardine for four of us. Had to mix the flour with rice flour to make roti for us in the morning, and we only got one or half roti sometimes. My father had to hide the flour in the motorcycle gas tank container at the side and bring it from Crabble Creek a bong or two at a time. So to my fellow Guyanese, ask not what, you, you, what the country can do for you. You have the best opportunity that any country on earth right now, I can tell you, I live in the United States. Guyana is providing more opportunity than America is providing to its citizens right now. Take it. Take it and make the best of it. Guyanese have this tendency of complaining for every little thing. But we fail to realize that we are the ones can make it or we can break it. The government build us a road, we bring in big trucks, big tractors, we damage it. We need to hold ourselves accountable too. Not just blaming the government for anything. And I'll tell you this, Craig, and i leave you with this. I follow the news a lot. I've never seen internationally, regionally, there is no president as down to earth as this president for Guyana is. And i leave you with that. All right. Cool. Well, maybe you haven't had the experience of meeting other world leaders, but I can tell you Gonzales, Ralph Gonzales of St. Vincent of the Grenadines, real down to earth guy. Um, Mia Motley, a very down to earth woman. Um, President Ali is the exception. Yes, President Ali is the exception. Uh, today I asked the question, is President Ali real? You know, there was so much hope um, when President Granger came into power. There was so much hope. Uh, I think the the PNC and the, the black community is still reeling because of, of the mentality developed in the black community of victimhood. Um, when Obama came into power, like black was, whoa, the first... Uh, black American president is the first black American president in modern time. America had black presidents before. Um, just go back and read your history. Um, no.
the era of 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 Granger, people had so much hope after 23 years of the PPP and what the PNC, the Kool-Aid that the PNC sold the people. People had so much hope. I had. I voted for the PNC, yes. If you might not have known, let me inform you. In 2011 and 2015, I voted for the PNC because I thought they could have brought change to Guyana. And I thought they could have assisted Guyanese. I thought they were genuine in their preachings. And how do you know that? So if you go to the PNC's manifesto, campaign manifesto, and campaign promises, you'll realize <clears throat> they actually did not do 10 things that they said they would have done. They did not do 10 things. You can't fold two hands as to the completion of things in their manifesto that they said they would have done, they did not do. If you can remember five things, you tell me. The things that the PNC said they would have done in their manifesto in 2011 and 2015, show me 10 things that they completed. Not, don't worry, 10, 10 little hard, C5. Right? That's a little uphill battle to get. So, I came across some pictures of President Ali. You want to know what President Ali is? Is President Ali real? Let's dissect President Ali's performance. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Turn on the thing in the background. Just a minute. Let me, let me, yeah, let me turn on the thing. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Yes, sir. You there? Yeah, I'm listening to Hello? you. Yeah, I'm listening. Um, I heard you speaking of Burnham. You never lived through Burnham area. I lived through Burnham area. That stink. I, I don't want to use indecent language. That stinking man. That man suffer we so much in Guyana. He used all of those policies that that he had. What have the what have, what what the Burnham? What have the Burnham era caused you to run to Trinidad? Yes. Okay. I get the I get the accent and I see the numbers. It's like okay, I can you run for your fucking life. Yes. It's you know, when you open your door in the morning through Burnham regime, you wasn't born that time. It's like you open your door in the desert. It's like dry sun, hot sun coming down on you to kill your mother cunt. That stink. Uh, sorry, sorry. I when I remember the hate that man caused Guyanese. And people still following that man, following the, 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 the teachings of these people, they have their own uh, own agenda. That man terrify Guyana. That stink, I tell you. All right, Sorry about the indecent language. Thank you. Safe. Bye. So, lots of people have extreme disdain for Burnham. I've never met anybody of a certain age. Like, if you met a PNC, somebody, hey, Burnham, Burnham, and they, and they, they're fucking delusional. Nothing. No. All the positive arguments I've heard, or the arguments that I would be willing to be receptive to, is, well, Burnham was not of his time. He was great visionary. You just didn't know what you were fucking doing. Anybody could be a visionary. I could share ideas, a million ideas with you execution of those ideas, deliverance of those ideas. <laughs> so, I went to President Ali's page, and this is what I came across. Right? President Ali visiting communities these things can be staged right? these things are not staged i want you to pay attention to president's president ali's demeanor is president ali for real this is the discussion this morning
right? This is President Ali meeting residents in communities with cabinet ministers on the ground. You know what's one of me problems I find? And I think is a... So the agriculture minister is here. This is the agriculture minister. This is Lionel, who is the head of NDIA. This is the agriculture minister. And the agriculture minister always plays an integral role. This, this country has a security problem. This country has continuously had the discussion about crime. You know, one of the ministers you don't really see is Ropes and Ben. I don't take too kindly to Ropes and Ben. We've had, you don't get the fucking, you don't answer the phone. I don't take too kindly. I got a, 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 a few ministers that I don't take too kindly to. But if you're going in these communities and you got agriculture minister, this is personal development for people, people to be able, this is Coverden. I know this place this is a cherry farm in Coverden. I don't know the people that are there, but the, the thing was held there. I know the lady with the cherry farm. I buy wines from her. This is a cherry farm belonging to a man named Mr. Joseph. I know because I go on that step there. With those people sitting on the step there, I go on that step. And Mr. Joseph took me and showed me the whole farm. One time I was to buy the farm. So... You have the, mini the the president going on the ground, meeting people, right? You got this is Minister Indar, very proactive. This is Minister Zulfikar, very proactive. Um, is it a game they're playing? Because we got these pictures with them all about the place, meeting people and talking. Is it all about talk? Is the PPP President Ali, the government, are they for real? You got to look at the facts. Because you got people who speak well of Barnum. They obviously have been disillusioned. Are we being duped at this time? Is this a game by the PPP government and these guys here? Are they playing a game? Let's look at the evidence. Everybody has an opportunity to speak. Everybody and anybody. Once it, is, once it is an issue, the president speaks to you. You have an opportunity to express your views. You have a listening ear from no less than the president himself. <sighs> Now, this is meeting people. Meeting people and photo apps. The easy. That's the easiest part. Right? Now, I want to go to the the other parts by the way this is the president's facebook page so show the pages i moved down through the page so one hour ago this is what was posted right this is guy suku in operation Is the PPP and the president for real? Well, it seems they're as real as what you're seeing here. Farmlands for the for the for Gaisuko being developed. They're as real as you're seeing here. So we got the president covered in. Um, thing yesterday there's a short video of the president COVID in the president is a father of two by the way
And for what we seeing, I could say a good one at that. Now, let's go down to the, the nitty gritty of these things that affect Guyanese. Training for Guyanese. If you go to the president's page, you'll see training for Guyanese. This is happening. This is real. This is not word of mouth are here, see, this is happening, right? Training facilities across Guyana, being built for Guyanese. This is when the president meet the mocker people the day. This is the president meeting people again. This is the day with the mocker thing. Farming, 500 acres of sesame seed being cultivated. That is real. Mike Pence revisiting Guyana. 1,300 acres of millet currently under cultivation at Tacoma. Mega farm in the Borbis River. That is real. Just, just perusing the president's page. Even if you're a PNC or anybody, you go to the page and see if you're making sense with what we're saying. The world is coming here. Construction of a new concrete bridge as Matthews Ridge. Go to the president's page. You can see directly what is going on. Brigdam Police Station. Ropes and Ben has only come out when they got some never bill. It seems that the extent of Ropes and Ben's skill is, is construction. But you got crime that people are worried about accidents in the road the tint with the vehicle yes you know he's only come out to shake fucking hand when um you know something there for bill and stop turning and all them thing now president ali update on construction of stadium at palmyra barbies President Ali Sap turn in construction a new 161 million modern hospital in New Amsterdam. Is the PPP fund the president for real? You gotta go to his page. And these are the things you have to have in your possession to hold them accountable. Because they said they're gonna do. Work has commenced at the development of the popular Joe Vera Park at Schoonard, West Bank Demerara. This morning, President Ali visited Kitty. Engaged with residents during the walkabout. A number of issues were raised. On the spot, decisions were made. Is President Ali for real? Peruse his page and get a better understanding of what President Ali is about. President Ali said the construction of the new four lane Mackenzie Wisma Bridge. Meeting residents of, of, of Linden. As you know, President Ali is a Muslim brother. And he finds the time to help the people of this nation, to work for the people of this nation, not help the people of this nation. He was voted in to do that. And he said he was going to do this. He find the time that, and he still finds the time to give praises to Allah. President Ali, as the new chairman of the CARICOM Secretariat, CARICOM Community, presiding over the 17th meeting of the lead heads of government on Haiti and Biru of, and the Bureau of Conference of Heads of Government, CARICOM, this afternoon. Signing the agreement on construction of a historic four lane Wisma Bridge. All right, we, we don't see that. So you just got to go to President Ali's page and you'll continue to find all that he's doing. Now this morning, I got to be doing too. Because I got to head over to Bellevue. 
I ask myself continually because you got men got promise women things, parents promise children things. Is President Ali for real? Have you gotten as President Ali had promised? A rescind of over 200 taxes implemented by the PNC and Granger government? Have you received that? Have the government, the PPP government, stopped taking VAT from old people, light and water? How much has. Hello, good morning. I tell you, good morning, brother. Yeah. Not, uh, I'm, a, I'm a driver on the road. We're not a driver on the road, but we're a user. And um, I'm from the US Bank. And we have a lot of problems over the past few months with a lot of people not using the traffic in the theaters. Is there any way we can use traffic cheaper and anyone can address that we think they should have the traffic in the theaters? A piece of something over to have to mentally do or something so that you know that this is a, a mentally insane force and you're not be using the traffic you can start with you. So that you got to focus on them. I know you're being sarcastic, but we're saying it make no fucking sense. You got you're being sarcastic, right? Yeah, because, but, because these people don't get very upset and you can't upset, you can't fight upset, you can't go with ignorance. Roger that, Roger that. So sarcasm is the way. Well, me is used it too, so I can give you credit for that. We got highlighted, don't worry, we got highlighted. Roger. So guys, you got to use your traffic, get them more road users. Um, is saying that, you know, people are not using the traffic, it obviously it caused some kind of confusion for him on the road. So, um, use your trafficators. Be cautious, be caring. Use defensive driving. Right? Yeah. So, do you feel the benefits of not having taxes on fuel? Having 50% of the exercise tax removed from fuel? Have you felt the benefits? Have you received as a parent? Have you received your $40,000 this year for your children? Are you feeling the benefits of that? Is this government for real? Have you been the recipient of a new road? Have you been the recipient of a land? Have you been one of the 30,000 recipients of land in three years while the previous administration did not give much in five years as it relates to housing? Have you been afforded the opportunity to drive on the Heroes Highway? Have you been a recipient of a gold scholarship? Have you been the recipient of one of the 15,000 recipients of a part-time job for $40,000 for just 10 days? I'm just asking for some of the things. Have you been one of the... 50,000 people that have received jobs, new jobs, since 2020. Have you been one of the 30,000? Were you one of the 30,000 people who lost your job from 2015 to 2020? These are the questions we got to ask ourselves. Serious questions. Have you been one of the sugar workers that get back your job? Have you been one of the recipients that benefit from the estates being reopened? Are you one of the farmers that get black tank, black sheep, pig, bulls from the government? Do you live in one of the communities that get a new pump stations to alleviate flooding? What have you experienced? 
Are you one of the Guyanese that receive the 25,000 cash grant? Are you one of the Lindeners Barbicians? Region 1 residents, left them residents from any one of the 10 regions that receive the business grant for $250,000. I just asking, I don't know who you are and what you benefited from this government or this administration. But I'm just asking, I don't know. Just let it dawn upon you. Is this government for real? Are you one of the thousands of mothers who've received $40,000 a year? Who's now receiving $40,000 a year? It started back with it. Then. Are you also one of the mothers who lost $10,000 a year under the previous PNC administration? Are you one of the farmers who paid more rents on leased land, rice farmers? Are you one of the gold miners that went out of business as a result of being overtaxed? Are you one of the rice farmers who is now recently received free fertilizer from the government? Not unlimited, but an amount free. Are you one of those farmers? Are you the same farmer who suffered from 2015 to 2020? I'm just asking, I don't know. I'm not telling you what happened. I'm asking you because I know some people receive. I want to know if you are in that area. Do you see the hospitals being built at Diamond, New Amsterdam, Bath, Settlement, Skeldon, all across the country, specialty hospitals? Do you see them being built? Is your expectation high as to the transformation of the health sector because it's being found wanting right now? It is not the best? Do you have high hopes for that? Do you see the hospitals being built? Are you seeing the street lights? Have your street received lights? I don't know. I just asking question. I just asking. I I don't know if you gain. Just let it dawn upon you. Is the Ali government? For real. Just ask the question. Ask yourself the question. Go to speed. See what he's saying. Keep it real. Peace out.